Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how I went from a custom half wig to a full wig using my hair from Her Given Hair. And I'm using this hair piece by Shake and Go, it's like a bang piece that's supposed to help you put like hair pieces in your hair or your weave or whatever, but all I really want is the braid, one braid to help close my wig. And I'm just measuring it on my U part to make sure it's the correct length and cutting it so that way I can customize it and go from there. So now the braid is perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and take off my wig. This wig has a brown cap, that's the color I chose, and of course it has combs, adjustable straps, and the length is 16 inches. You can also send in the measurements of your head and they can customize it to fit you perfectly. So I'm just sewing down my braid so that way I can close the wig and you know just take your time with something like this you really want it to be tight that's the main objective so rushing is definitely not something you want to do and this is the first half that's sewn down I'm gonna go ahead and sew it down on the other side and really tension it so that way it's close very close I don't want any gaps at all now that I've sewn my braid onto my cap, I'm going to go ahead and flip the wig over so I can get to work closing that gap. Alright you guys, this is what the braid is looking like and I'm going to use water, warm water. You guys know warm water makes it so much easier for me to mess with kinky curly hair, especially my own natural hair. Manipulation is like a hundred times easier. So now I'm just separating the hair. I'm going down one inch and just securing the hair so nothing gets in the way of anything else and spraying it again working the water through so it's easy for me to deal with and taking just a very small section to use on the part so the large section is going to go ahead and go back and out of the way and I'm gonna use the small section on the part area to close my gap so let me zoom in real quick. The first thing I'm doing is putting a fusion hook underneath the braid and underneath all that hair and securing a very small section of hair onto the hook. This hook is very tiny and that section is just a little bit too big actually but just pulling through and it's a struggle sometimes but that's all there is to it for this half of the head. Just going under and securing some hair onto the hook and pulling through. That's really all there is to it until I completely cover the braid. But I'm doing this on this half of the head and I'll do it again on the other half of the head so that way I can have a lot of hair right there in the middle. This is half of the head that's done and I'm gonna go ahead and do the back just the very small piece of hair in the back and I'm getting about a one inch by one inch I always say that section of hair and I'm going under the braid right in the back and pulling some hair through so that way it closes perfectly I'm not just doing it side and side you know I'm also doing the back and of course water is everything for this process so just a few sections in the back, I'm doing that so that way it's easier to conceal. And I'm going on to the next side, grabbing another large section of hair, saturating it with water, working the water through and separating that section of hair. Same process, securing that section in the back and the little section is getting saturated with water again so I can work with it and close the wig completely so again go underneath the braid underneath all that hair and put a small piece of hair onto the latch hook and pull through and do it again underneath the braid underneath the hair grab some hair from the other side and pull through and I kept doing that until my wig was completely closed it's very easy to close a wig that's kinky and that is pretty much all that I did. So now I'm just taking all the clips out so that way I can style my hair. And this is what the wig is looking like. You can't see anything at all. That's the actual closure right there where I'm pointing. 
the back of the U part, what was once a U part. So now I'm just brushing my hair with my Irresistible Me straightening brush. I'm trying to straighten out my hair so I can put some curls in it. And of course I have to secure the stand with my leg, but the brush does a really good job of straightening out my weave and if I encounter any tangles that make it difficult for me to brush with the straightening brush, I just grab my Chi hair straightening brush and then follow up with the brush so that way I can just loosen those tangles. You can use a Denman brush as well, but then follow up with the straightening brush and it kind of gives you that blowout look. Then I go ahead after that and twist my hair in Bantu knots, large Bantu knots to just section my hair and have it out of the way while I proceed to the next section. And that's pretty much all I did. Now, moving right along, I noticed that the Bantu knots looked kind of cute. That one did anyway, so I decided I'll go ahead and make really small Bantu knots with the hair instead of curling with a curling wand. So that way the curls would last longer. And I put some mousse on my hair and just started making a Bantu knot. So you guys know I've got a bunch of Bantu knot tutorials, but we'll just quickly go through it and just twirl the hair. Just keep twirling in one direction, twirl, 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 it's very tedious, but that's what I did and then just started wrapping around and just putting stacks of twirled hair under each other, if that makes sense. But all I'm doing is just wrapping around and wrapping around and wrapping around to create the Bantu knot. It's so effortless and easy to do this, especially since my hair is already straightened. It did not even take long at all. It probably took me like maybe 45 minutes, if that. So the next morning, I went ahead and released the Bantu knots. And here is the reveal. So this is what the Bantu knots are looking like. I think I did a good job. They came out really nice. I probably should have done larger ones, uh, but I like the textured look. I like the way it looked like really pretty and natural looking and afro-like, but next time definitely wand curls or softer curls with this hair. That's what I'll do. But for now, I am loving the Bantu knots and they make for very great pictures, except you just have to wait for them to fall. That's the only thing with Bantu knots that I don't like. You have to wait a couple of hours for them to marinate. But I'm combing my hair out here and prepping it to be cut just you know combing at the roots to add more volume with a wide toothed comb and now I'm just grabbing small pieces of hair and cutting bangs so that way I can actually see when I'm doing something just cutting a little bit of hair at a time to make my bangs that's all I'm doing that way I won't accidentally overshoot but this is what my hair is looking like I love it it fell later on and of course I neatened my hair and then it looked so much prettier later on. If you see in my other outfit, I had such pretty pictures. So let me know what you think of this hair, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for future videos. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!